Okay, so, so you have the Sims 2 Fletchers and a Somers for DDs, two Alaskas for cruisers, Missouri, Alabama, and Iowa for battleships. Three Langleys that are not allowed to lift planes, have to go for that middle island and beach, and spend at least 90 seconds there if they're all three together still alive. Okay? Yep. Yep. Um, after that, your objective is to sink either Musashi or Yamato. Okay. All right. Uh, my job for my team is pretty much prevent these ships from successfully uh, conducting the amphibious assault in the middle of the map. Okay. And um, once you, once the timer, by the way, once the timer is complete and all ships have been successfully uh, standing there for, regardless, regarding how many of them are alive, you have to cap the ba the base then. Which I'm pretty sure is not going to be a problem, considering if Langley's are there, the rest of the fleet is there. But do not capture the middle cap before the timer has expired. Can't do that, though. Why? Because to actually run, a, to actually run ships aground and get involved there, they're going to be in the cap anyway. No, you don't. Yeah, because where, where it is, the, the B cap actually comes off it. Mm, it? I don't think you have to be in there. For your ships to beach but if your if your langley's are going to be the one capping that's fine yeah because they're gonna be, yeah they're gonna be on there i don't think i don't think they have to but that's fine we'll, we'll see how the cap is once we get inside um okay so good luck let's deafen and let's do this just make sure everybody's in the right channels obviously yeah okay all right good luck my dude good luck all right let's do this my, my plan for the ships was a bit different than what, what we have, but let's give him what he wants. Alright. So. Here's what we're gonna do, boys. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm on the wrong side. Ah, uh, we're on the wrong side. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's roll with it. Yeah, this changes everything now. This is the problem. They were supposed to be starting here. We were supposed to be starting there. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, DD. Fuck. Two DDs per flank caps. A and C. And then try to get torps on those Langley's. Musashi. Go. Ten line. Get in position where you can shoot them. Focus on sinking Alpha Fox Six. Troop transports and staying alive. Watch out for radars. Ladies, be extra careful. So, what we're gonna do... Uh, cruisers... Stay... Close... To... Spawn. That area. You're gonna shoot DDs if we spot them. So, the plan is one battleship in this area so he can have side shots into B. One battleship in this area so he can have shots in B. So we have crossfire on that island because they have to beach on these islands to take the control of that airfield, right? Destroyers, we're sending two here to cap this and two here to cap this, and then loiter in that area. 
By the way, nobody on my team should cross the middle of the map. Keep that that in mind. Because we're defending. So basically, do not cross diagonal line here, right? You have to stay on our side of the land, our side of the map, and see what you can do. Do the best you can with torps, do the best you can with guns, but we're not allowed to cross the half of the map. Because the overwhelming American force is coming. Yeah, cruisers are here. They're pretty much going to be shooting from the front. Anything these DDs spot. DDs. Now, try carefully to scout that middle island and torp. Just torp. Guns only if you have to def yourself. These DDs, um, you can go as far as that island, not deeper, just so you can get angles for torps. All right, cool. Well, we have no eyes. Those Langley's are slow as shit. We know that much. But let's see if we can get some eyes. Here we go. There's the Iowa. Musashi, do not shoot on the Iowa. We don't give a shit about the Iowa. Let's see if we can get some eyes on the rest of the fleet. Troop transports is what we're here for. If the troop transports are dead, they can't conduct the amphibious assault, they lose. The fleet is going to be left for, for dead, pretty much. Yeah, we can see everything but the, the troop transports. Yes. We can shoot them all. But at the moment, I want to see if we can get some good targets. Open up. What do we even focus on? Cruisers. Yeah, let's see if we can get rid of the Alaskas first. Careful, DDs, careful, we need you for torps. Stay alive, boys. Because if we can get rid of the radars, then we have a chance. And there goes my first talkie. Uh, this Kagero. Closer to me, please, for side torps. Yeah, I need DDs on the sides, not in the front. That's the thing. Good volley, good volley, good volley. Oh, Alaska's pulling back. Fuck, I'm not gonna have angles. I'm gonna try anyway. Nope. 
someone else might get her. Come on, boys, finish that Alaska. Good. Next Alaska. I wonder where the Langleys are. Like, we haven't seen... Oh, we actually have seen some of them. Fuck. Yeah, we're focusing the cruisers with radars. And then our DDs can start moving in. When Lost Alaska is dead, DDs can do... Can go in. Oh, Langley dead. One Langley down. Good job. Good. Jo oh, fuck, they're close. Oh, they're close. Two to go, boys. Two to go. They're close to that island. Oof. Oof, good smack. Good smack. They took B. Come on, come on, come on, we need that Alaska dead. Oh, I got Sims here. Second Alaska pulling away. Alright, there we go. But this is a problem, we have no visual of those Langleys, damn it. Oh, another Langley dead! One more! One more, boys! One more. We lost Aoba. We lost Kuma. Can I get in on time? Okay, they lost Fletcher. <laughs> I got in on time. Ah, oh, tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. I need this bloody Sims out of the equation. Oh, yikes. I can't see the Langleys. Secondaries? <laughs> Got him. They're not reporting the capture yet. They're not reporting the capture yet. Kageto down. Oh my fucking god. Okay, Missouri down. Nice. Go in. Find that damn Langley. We need him dead. We need eyes on him. When that smoke ends, we win. Roger. We still need to sink one more BB of ours. Citadels, fuck. Yes, got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Kill the Summers. Kill the Summers. Fuck, we still can't see that Langley. Summers down. 
How's Musashi doing on HP? He's doing very good. Oh! Get him! Get him! Come on! Yes! Dude, they were 15 seconds away. They were 15 seconds away from winning. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. What was that? 15 seconds? Yeah. Oh my god. That was so close. We just could not see that last Langley. No freaking way. That's why I took what I took. It's the only way, it's the only chance that I ever had. Yeah, my plan was I'm gonna take Musashi on one side, Yamato yeah, on the other side, yeah. with two and destroyers. Yeah, with two destroyers in the middle. Uh, t sorry, two destroyers on each flank to sec secure the flanks, and then drop torpedoes from the side. However, we did have the rule that I didn't tell you about, and that was that no ship of mine was allowed to cross the middle of the map. Like diagonal middle of the map. The furthest uh. you could go was in the in the caps, all the way to the end of the cap on each flank. Just enough to get torpedo angles. Because we did not want to encircle you completely and just torp you from all sides because that would be too easy. We and want that's, yeah. The only way to actually get them in to actually get on that cap meant that we were taking the cap, which is absolutely fine. Great, we got the cap. Mm -hmm. But then there's there's no way to defend against a complete crossfire. Yeah, that's it's, why that's why I did not yeah. that's why I did not allow my my boys to to kind of go on uh, too far. As you can see my it's, DDs were all kind of confined in the back. Yeah, it's not the destroyers though. Yeah, and uh I focused both mine and Musashi's fo uh, fire on your radars. So once the radars are down then I can send my destroyers even deeper. But we still couldn't find the last fucking Langley. So I mean, that's why I took the three that's why I took the Alabama the, that's why I took the three battleships. Because they would I no offense to anybody playing either of those ships, okay, this. Mm -hmm. They were just for you to shoot up. That's all they were there for. Yeah, but we did not want to shoot the battleships. <laughs> I was literally I told my Musashi immediately, do not shoot the battleships. We don't care. We're going to shoot the troop transports, and if we can't see them, focus on the radars. Once we get those out, our DDs can get in closer, and then, you know, we, we can start working what we could. And that worked beautifully. Um, yeah. we, right. lost, we lost pretty much the cruisers that were in the middle, that were there to shoot the DDs. I see Miyoko yeah. got out alive, and I lost all but one destroyer. And I think he was pretty close to dying as well. So yeah. it was pretty pretty close and that sims got pretty much all the torps on me so i was pretty close to dying yeah. if if you had 15 more seconds to cap that and get your main objective done your second objective could have been if you uh focused all battleships on me or something and get me killed that would have been that would have been successful because with the story goes like without the support of musashi and yamato um we can't control this area anymore and if you take control of yeah. the airfield it's over mm -hmm. um and you have an overwhelming majority of the forces that are far stronger than us and we have to get rid of those two troop transports because if you can't set foot on the land uh you can't control this with the resistance that we have right so you yeah. kind of have to take control of the land, then you can get the planes up in the air, and then you have to sink one of these big ships, and the other one is just going to flee. And the thing you've got there is that... It's, oh, two know, DDs, yeah. Yeah. The, the thing is, though, with the two big ships sitting so far at range, you, there's not enough time to do both. It's Especially when you take CM, especially when you take those two caps. In the perfect world, it would just be the cap in the middle, and that's it. Once those points start ticking on those two other caps, it adds too much extra pressure onto the on, onto the assaulting team, onto the onto the onto the yeah onto the beach assault team. Basically, mm -hmm. you can't you can't actually do it in the time given because you just get pointed out far too quickly, and you've got to literally sacrifice shit in order to try to get the time back. So you I were pretty close. You were really, really, really close. Like you oh, yeah. needed, uh, if the if there was a little bit more focus fire on me, 
I was very close to dying. I was on like last 20, 30,000 HP and no DCP. And you were what? 15 seconds away from doing that landing successful. So yeah. this was as close as it gets. So I'm really happy about the balance, both in the first and in the second um, of these scenarios we have. Because my my idea is always to get this to be as close as possible in terms of balance, regardless of who wins. Because if one team simply rolls over the other team, then that's not fun, right? You Either me or you had it too easy and the other guy had it too hard. Mm. And, and this was actually really, really close. Uh, I, I, I ordered my guys to just move in at the end and be like, we got to find that fucking Langley or mm. I don't know the timer, but this is this is getting close. And then you called it 19 seconds and we win. I'm like, shit. <laughs> but the points ticked and that was that was the win.